A shortage of drivers has trucking companies recruiting retirees. You're sharing the road with about 350,000 people pushing 18 wheelers down the blacktop in their golden years. Chris Van Cleve is looking into a question of safety. They're going to come here and we're going to finally, they're going to see me do something real positive in life. For Ronnie Hooks, it was supposed to be a day of celebration. He was about to become an elder at his church, and his family was arriving from Oklahoma City. But it all changed when a semi driven by a 76-year-old rolled on top of three cars, killing 10, including Ronnie's parents and two brothers. I was on the phone with him when it happened on that day, and the phone just went dead. It remains the deadliest crash in Oklahoma's history. Highway Patrol Lieutenant James Loftus investigated the accident. Do you think his age played into that at all? I do. I do. I think uh, uh, some medical conditions that we were made aware of later on uh, played a factor in that. As the head of the state's accident investigation unit, he's noticed an increasing number of crashes involving elderly commercial drivers. The industry's looking for truck drivers. There's a shortage in truck drivers, so they're not going to self-regulate. The only way that that could be done is on the federal level. This August, a New Jersey transit bus was T-boned by another bus driven by a 70-year-old. Days later, a truck driven by a 74-year-old slammed into traffic in Binghamton, New York. We looked at 12 states and found in the last three years, there was a 19% increase in accidents involving older drivers, many of them in their 70s, 80s, and even about a dozen in their 90s. But with such a shortage of drivers, the industry is actively recruiting retirees. With a hidden camera rolling, we sent a retired Texas state trooper posing as a senior looking for work to a Roadmaster driving school. Now, is there an age limit or anything on this? There's or? not. We had two ladies. They were probably in their 80s. As long as you are physically and physical, physically able to get behind that wheel and drive that truck, they need their goods delivered. There's no age on it. I mean, if they pass the physical and everything and they want to drive. Dusty Cushard, a director at one of the Roadmaster schools, told us the agency governing the industry, FMCSA, has no restrictions on hiring older drivers other than passing a physical. I follow the guidelines and what they set forth. I, I have faith in, in them. Daphne Jefferson is a deputy administrator at FMCSA. We're not quite at the point yet where we're ready to say one way or the other if there needs to be a change in the driver rules for, say, drivers over 65. For the Hooks family, it's already too late. We have all had to learn how to deal with it and deal with it with the reoccurring memories and the pain of not having them. The airline industry has a shortage of pilots, but it has a mandatory retirement age of 65. Scott, one trucking association confirmed the increase in older drivers, but says when it comes to big rig crashes, those are most often caused by other drivers.